Oh no, I didn't even bring my umbrella. You guys join me as I stalk through the rainy forest of Severed, which is a brand new game that's hit iOS from the creators of Guacamele, uh, which was a very good game. And I think after over an hour of play, this is pretty good too. So it's a weird mixture of old and new. We've got this sort of frame by frame, almost turn based first person control system. I like the rain, it's cleansing and relaxing, says the scary demon two-headed bird to itself. Approaching Crow Island, is it? Yeah, a combination of that old school kind of mechanic with the more modern touchscreen Infinity Blade style slash based combat system, which is interesting and something I didn't expect. So when I saw like video of the game, I expected it just to be a lot of single screens and doing a lot of slashing. I didn't expect to have a proper dungeon crawling RPG with leveling up and map management and all manner of stuff to deal with. But first, the fight. Right, I slash on the screen. He pauses. I can slash him now because he's in non-defensive mode. However, you can see the yellow bars bringing up. That means this guy's about to attack. I resisted his attack. This guy's about to attack as well. Kill him quick. Oh, you got me, you got me, you got me. Damn it. You can see I have to swipe on the screen. Swipe as quickly as possible. He's about to attack. I parried him. Quick. He's about to attack. Oh, no. Slash him down. This is where the game lives and dies. It's incredibly hard work, and it's about managing... Slash. Yes. And parrying and trying to deal with multiple enemies at the same time. You need to open his head up here. Slash really, 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 really fast. This guy's about to attack. I can parry his strike. Get a couple of hits in on him. He's about to go mental. Ah, oh, hit the wrong thing. Damn it. Slash, 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 slash. All three of the forearms, that's good. So, I need to collect the body parts of the fallen. He's about to attack. Damn, mister. Uh, the body parts will allow me to upgrade certain things. So now, one, two, three. One, two, three. This is the pattern for him, roughly. He's attacking. I can parry him and kill him some more. This guy's about to go mental because the yellow bar is charging up. Let's get his eyeball. He's down. He's dead. Slice, slice. I get to keep the eyeball because that's what powers me up in this weird universe. I was able to parry that strike by kind of swiping against it, and now I can kill him as well because my focus has been maxed out. I got some health, yum, 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 which is good. I needed it badly. I can use my two fingers to move around here in a more analog way, collect those body bits, and those body bits are then used to upgrade. So it's telling me now I can tap the health bar and see upgrades available. I can also use the transmutability that I earned. So here are my upgrades. By looking down here, the life leech, uh, I need five, well, I need a lot more hands in order to make that work. However, I can upgrade my overpower, which increases my slash damage by 20%. I'm going to do that. I put my finger on it and hold. Bam. I have been upgraded. I have a powerful slash now, which could sound bad out of context. Uh, I'm going to close this window here, and I'm going to push on through. I can bring up the map, if you look here. Now, this is the area I was. Check this out, all you people who will have a bit of dungeon crawling map action there are multiple floors to this this is proper rpg business it's very exciting but like i say it's conducted in an old-fashioned way i had a game called eye of the beholder on the amiga you may remember old-fashioned games where you just tap once and you'd advance a single screen at a time uh, they've had one on recently which appeared and did quite well on both steam and ios i forget the name of it but it follows a similar system and even though it in some ways, it's very dated and very old-fashioned. Because I'm not so keen on first-person uh, controls on iOS, I quite like it. It like lends itself to a touchscreen format. Oi! Come back with my gem, bird! Curse you! That wretched bird's run off in that direction with me gem. Recover the ruby from the top of the third crow temple. Oh, I've got my, I've got my marching orders. Right, I can't get through here, uh, so I've got to go this way. Pretty much got to go there. You can tell it's been made by the guacamole guys from the visuals, I think. There's a certain amount of continuity, the color schemes and whatnot. Uh, it's just got a lovely look to it. These little flames indicate a fight is about to kick off. So let's do it. Oh, I've not seen this one before. Oh my god. I guess I can only slash the eyes that are open. I've got to be careful not to oh, slash when the eyes aren't open. Because you notice my focus meter is charging. The more attacks I do, the better. But if I attack and hit the shield bit, which is anything other than the eye, the open eye, I'll lose stuff off my focus meter. So it encourages you to be very careful when you're swiping. I got an eyeball! Three eyeballs. Wicked cool. So there's always a reason to do fights. They're not just an annoying obstacle. And here I've got to manage two of them. So I've got this guy and then monkey boy here. Okay, here we go. Swipe. 
and swipe and then attack. Keep an eye on the end indicator. It's just started to go yellow. That means he's about to attack. I'm going to parry his swipe. Bam. Swipe. And then one, two, three. One, two, three. Now I'm going to go back over here. Quick. Oh, there's four eyes. Quick. Close them. Brilliant. Before he attacks. He's attacking me. Parried him. Oh my god. I can't believe I got away with that. You. I. I. Close. So it's about trying to get as much as you can done while still keeping a half an eye on what else is going on. Like this, for example. Swipe. Missed him. Rather, he missed me, which is what I want. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And he's got kind of a pattern that you can deal with. He always blocks three times in each direction. I have discovered. Little handy hint there. Uh, oh, I can get another upgrade now. Amazing. What can I do? This one. No, that's maxed out. What else can I do? Show me green. Show me green on both. Aha! 5% bonus damage to long slashes. I will take it. I will take it hard. Now, let's move over here. Now, this is a little object, because I've got this pendant now with a sun on it. It allows me to whack the gong and change from day to night or night to day. And that will mean different doorways will open up around me. So, for example, if I go into this room... Uh, I don't know if this was always open, was it? No, this blue one can't be opened anyway. But I can go onto the map and show you that there are certain doors that you can only open. You can see that moon, there's moon symbols there. That means that they are now open, or I should be able to access them anyway. Let's have a look through here first. So I've been really pleasantly surprised by this one, and it's one of the games where I streamed it, like, for an hour, and then I went on playing after I'd stopped the stream and then I went to the gym and I came out and I went and got some food and I sat in the restaurant playing the game because I got quite into it. Look, there's a little story. This is part seven of that story. It's told in kind of pictograms. You can see here, here's, no, here's seven, sorry. The Wrath. Eight. Consumed. The Crow Golem. Oh, we're getting this kind of story of how the creature became an evil thing. Bit of a spoiler there, I suppose, but it's a very loose story. It's not really told in words. It's all kind of pictorial. So clearly no way past there. Can't slash my way free of that. Now, the game is a premium game, as you probably guessed. It's appeared on Wii U. It was going to appear on PS Vita. I don't know if it ever did, but I think there was at least one cancelled version of it. But I would recommend it. It does cost actual real money. It's not super cheap or anything. It's about £5 or 7 or 8 bucks at the moment. Uh, but that price is going to go up once the week is over. So it's kind of giving you some initial price reduction stuff. All right, let's get you here. Let's go back here before you go mental. The one on the far end. Slash, 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 slash. All four of them. Yes, nailed it. Now this guy, you have to hit him in his club. Like this. If you hit any, any of the rest of him. Oh, he's hit me. Damn it. He doesn't give you much warning before he attacks. I forgot about that. And then he jumps and he changes position because he's an absolute douchebag. Oh, he's attacking, he's attacking. Damn, I didn't mean to do that. That's my bad. My ha damage has gone down, as you can see. Keep your eyes on this guy for when he freaks out. Okay, fine. You are about to attack me, so we parry the slash. Get in and attack him from the side. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And you're done for, my friend. All four arms that time. Nailing this thing. And you as well. Attack, attack, attack. attack. That's how you get the most damage, is by taking ideally long swipes. Slash, slash, slash. Yes, two of the three bits will have to do. Exhilarating stuff! <laughs> you can tell I'm getting all overexcited, but genuinely, I think this is a bit of a cracker. It's got me hooked right in, and I think maybe if you like a mixture of the old-fashioned dungeon crawling with some new slashy stuff, then this will be right up your alley. Severed is the name, out right now, iPhone and iPad. Thanks for watching, see you next time! This video is brought to you by AppSpy in association with Pixel Cup Soccer 16, the fast-paced retro-style football game currently available on iPhone and iPad. <laughs>